up guys, my name is Alex Caves and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to sharpen your chisels by hand. So lately I have been working on a planter for my mom and I am creating these uh, finger joints for the construction of the base. Now with the tools I currently have I've been dealing with problems in that with my current saw I can't get deep enough uh, to make a clean cut inside there and also my chisels aren't sharp enough to get these ridges out cleanly. And so, to solve that problem, I went on to good old Amazon and bought myself some new tools. And I'm gonna put the link uh, in the description box below so that you can uh, purchase those as well and improve your abilities in your shop. So, this, this was my current saw that I got from uh, a local wood shop uh, vendor. It's great, I love this thing. I've been using it for a few years. But the problem with this is that it's got this metal support in the back for the blade, which makes the blade stiff, and, but this thickness is not very deep, not deep enough to do these angles. So what I got is this. It's nice and big. It's very cool. I love how long these handles are. Um, this one is actually made in Japan. It's by a brand called Suizan. And um, the unique thing about Japanese razor saws are that it is a pole saw and it is razor thin, which gives you a nice clean cut and a very accurate cut as well. So it's got a coarse side and a fine side, but uh, yeah, I love these things. I'm very happy I got this. Can't wait to start cutting with it. Another thing is this chisel. This was from my grandpa, grandpa's shop who passed away recently, but Anywho, I got a bunch of his tools, and uh, this was one of them, it's, which is great, but it's not fine enough to get a, a deadly sharp blade or a sharpness on this thing. So what I got was some sharpening stones with different grits. So this one it goes from 400 to 1,000. Yeah, the diamond block is about 1,000. And then to get really sharp, you have to go all the way up to... 8,000. So I got another block that's uh, 3,000 to 8,000 uh, grit. And uh, so I should be able to sharpen my chisels very sharp. If I look like I'm crying, it's because I just got some dirt in my eyes and washed it out and stuff. So even though this process doesn't require any uh, dust, because it's going to be wet sanding, um, I got to put my safety glasses on. Just so I look cool. Alright, so the process of sanding a chisel is pretty simple. It just takes a lot of time and the elbow grease and fine motor control when you're going back and forth on the sanding stone. So what you need is some water, container. I like to use a sponge to uh, put water on the stone itself. So you just pour yourself some good clean water. I just put all that in there. You'll be collecting uh, particles from the blade and you'll be rinsing it in there. So the more water, the less you have to clean up. All right, so since this is fairly decent right now, I've been using this diamond plate, which is the only thing I had up until recently. Um, I have this one here, which is a 400 grit on this side, 1000 grit on this side. Uh, since this blade is fairly decent, no big nicks or anything like that, I'm going to start with 1000 and go from there. So first thing, just get it nice and wet and soaking. It'll absorb a lot of water. So keep adding water until it stops absorbing. If it's nice and fresh, you want a nice thin layer to lubricate uh, your sharpening. So with your sanding stones, it's good to have a perfectly flat diamond stone. And uh, because after you do, it, do a few passes on these uh, stones, it's going to wear away. It's going to stop being flat. Um, it's going to have like a valley. so. 
have something that you can resurface to get it nice and flat. Looks like it's not absorbing as much. So, so with the chisel, you're going to have the flat side and the beveled side. Start off with the flat side and just get it nice and flat. Put your pressure uh, on the front side of it and just go back and forth, hanging off the edge. Just keep it as flat as possible. Keep adding water. What you're looking for is a nice even scoring on the back side, right here. Okay, it's getting there. Like I said, this is a time consuming process, especially if you have a very dull blade. Um, so, mine's gonna take a little while. <laughs> but the more time you spend on this, right now, the better it'll be in the end. And once you get a nice sharp chisel, it won't take as much sharpening uh, the next time around. So, doing the bevel side, I got the flat side pretty good. When you're doing the bevel side, the key is to keep it as flat as you can. Now, because the surface right here is so narrow, so small, you're going to have a hard time holding it uh, nice and flat. So a good trick is to hold it at a perpendicular angle so that the long side is the side you're going to be pushing. That way it doesn't rock as much as if you try to do it this way. Because there's less surface uh, up and down versus side to side. So hold it like this at an angle, tilt it up till it comes flat, put tons of pressure on the tip here, and just use your right hand or left hand, whichever hand is your dominant to just support it, okay? So this, this is your guide rail to keep it nice and straight and flat. And your left hand or your other hand is putting down pressure on that bevel. And then just try to keep it as flat, flat as you can. Try not to rock and just go back and forth. So just like with any sandpaper, you want to make sure all the little grooves, uh, rough grooves are gone before you move on to the next one. Because the finer you go, the harder it is to get through those grooves. So really take your time on the, on the coarse grits. Really get it flat and then step up the cord, like properly. Don't jump from 400 to 3000 hoping that you'll get through it quicker. You won't. <laughs> it's much quicker to actually spend the time and go through each grit properly. Same thing. Now it's just a matter of going through the grits. That concludes the uh, little update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.